All right, welcome back. Last episode, we finished the sunken uh, sea shrine and defeat, defeated the the water elemental fiend, which was uh, the kraken. This episode, uh, we will be uh, going after the final elemental fiend, which is the wind elemental fiend. Uh, but first, we need to head back to uh, a certain town, which I don't remember the name. It's right here. Melmond. Oh, the reason we, the reason why we need to come back here is we need to get this guy right up here by the graves. We'll pull us aside and say, just a moment, let me see that tablet. This, this is the Rosetta Stone. This makes it possible to decipher Lufinian. Uh, yes, of course. That's what it, that, that's what that was. It all makes sense. Here, allow me to express my gratitude by teaching you Lufinian. Now, if it was this easy to learn an entire language, I would try to learn every language I could. There, now you can speak Lufinian too. So now that we know the ancient language, we can head to uh, a town where this language is spoken. That's right up here in the east side of the continent. It is located right here. We cannot land here. And so the closest place where we can land is much further, further north, right here. And we will have to walk our way to the, uh, the town. And there's some pretty scary monsters over here, but they actually shouldn't be too difficult. They definitely do a lot of damage, but we do probably just as much to them. If not, we'll probably do more than more to them than they will do to us. In fact, yeah, that one just ran away. So they aren't too scary. Aren't you? Uh, pretty getting close to the end of this, uh, this game. Uh, this came from the uh, the eighties, so it's not super long, but it's definitely very fun. I like these simple RPGs. The uh, uh, I don't know what you would call them. I'd say retro, but retro now is kind of too vague. At this point, like they're more older than retro. But now that we are in, uh, I, forgot, I should look up the name of the town. Not just Lufinia. We are the Lufinians, the descendants of the race that once lived among the clouds, the sky people. You use a you use a vessel called an airship. It was built by one of our ancestors, a man by the name of Sid. a little good information. The light bearers. Then the legends is true. We have a, a legend that has been passed back, passed down through many generations. According to this land, four hundred years after the fall of the civilization, in the sky warriors bearing light come forth and save our people. Well, that seems to be us. 400 years ago, we built a civilization of, high, of the highest order, even beyond the skies we reached. However, this is not but history now. A flying castle floats on a blue sea of stars beyond the sky. Could the mechanical being our ancestors still function? 
Sky people would pass on their memories from one generation to the next through rituals. For 400 years is a long time. Those memories have been have begun to fade. It's interesting. This world is composed of four forces: fire, earth, water, and wind. Of these, we showed great of we of these we showed greatest power within the power of wind. High in the sky, we set a castle afloat in the azure sea of stars. Which is kind of an interesting thought of what the previous guy said about transferring their memories to a generation, which is actually pretty interesting. A pretty interesting concept. Castle that floats high above the clouds was once home to our ancestors. The Mirage Tower is the gateway to that castle. We struggled for our very lives with Tai Mant, the Fiend of Wind. We got a name for the Fiend of Wind now. But our power was not enough. To this day, her lair remains in the castle in the sky, a flying fortress. Tiamat blocks the power of wind, the source of the sky people's strength. Before you leave, legendary warriors, take this charm with you. Chime with you. We'll grant you the passage into the Mirage Tower. Uh, with this, we now probably have our final key item. Uh, we came to believe that there was another entity controlling the four fiends. To a certain this its location, we send five uh, send out five warriors. Much time has passed since we heard from them. Hope no harm has befallen them. Hmm. Ooh, that's very interesting. I didn't know that. We placed our last Last hope in five warriors and sent out. It's been said that they fell victim to the curse of the fiends and were turned into bats. Hmm. I don't know. I would say that they're more than bats. More or less, they might be the actual fiends themselves. That's actually an interesting connection. I didn't notice that. I don't know if it's intentional, but that actually kind of can kind of connect to Final Fantasy Origins. If you come out this way, you can actually act, they have like these hidden magic shops like way off of nowhere, which is weird. This will be our uh, the light spells. Full life revive revives one alley and fully restores HP. We definitely want this. These will probably be the strongest spells in the game. Flare. Blesses all enemies with light and heat. Don't want that. Because that will definitely give us some sort of advantage. Uh, yeah, let's take a, uh, take a look at the magic. There was no like armory or anything in here, which is interesting. I kind of thought there was. Not even the end. Hmm. Just a metric shop. To be fair, they are powerful spells, so. Uh, next, we're actually going to head back to our airship. And we will make the way to the Flying Fortress to fight uh, Tiamat. The. Uh, the Fiend of the Wind. Got ten. Uh, let's see, let's head to our uh, the airship. Even though Black Mage can kill enemies around here with their standard attack. Uh, 
uh, which is right here. This is uh, where we want to be. We can land right here. Make our way. Let's uh, fly our stories in a second. I, uh, <laughs> I think I maybe used one sleeping bag or a tent, like in the early game, but I have not been using them. I got some to spare, so I might as well start using them at the end of the game. Our Mirage Tower. Medusas and saber Oh, bip, these are not much of a threat. Never mind. Hope I have gold needles. Should probably want to buy a town and stocked up on items first. I do. Pass them. Ooh, there's a bunch of chest over here. And now they're poisoned. And Jack is getting everything. Hopefully, I can get those done without anything. Super detrimental. Yeah, I got a uh, sword, a bolt sword, uh, weaker than the thunder. Get a staff or something. Or did oh something else? Oh no, healing helm. Helm my cast a heal when used. It's not really defensive. Blast 2 defense for like the ability to use heal. It's not very useful. Uh, in this dungeon somewhere, uh, Aegis Shield. Okay, uh, there is an item that is a big, it is optional. Uh -huh. It's optional. Do not need to get it to progress of the game, but is very useful if we do get it. I do not know where it is in this dungeon. I just know it is currently in this dungeon. It's where you have to find it. I would find these vampires. This these this thing was like a boss. Like like in, like a, a little cave somewhere. Now they're just regular enemies. Master, regular solo. I would say this dungeon is probably just as long as the uh, Sunken Shrine. I don't think it's really that much longer. Even a Black Knight, you have like a new enemy. Still just goes down one hit. Doing damage. I have to heal. Yeah. 
I don't think I have them. I don't think I have much potions. Oh, I probably sh really should have um, stocked up on, on the potions before I came here. I didn't stock up at all, honestly. Or just well, it doesn't do as much damage as the other things, but. If it's any occasion like the previous fiends, uh, uh, this wind fiend wouldn't be too difficult. Or won't be too difficult. Because I did not have any issues. They both went down very fast. Pretty simple. Stop this. Okay, I have to stop and heal. Fine. Head down this way. I'll probably find more treasure chests. Blue dragon. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult. <laughs> oh my. Gil. Gil. Thor's hammer. Gil. Gil. Monster. The a blue dragon that tried to run away. Wow. Gil. Cottage. Sunblade. Gil. Dragon nail. Ooh. Fancy stuff. Uh, see Sunblade. Or attack, but yeah. Two more attack for her, two less, uh, two less ac accuracy. Hey, I'll do that. Oh, that's Dragon Meal, that's good. More defense. Uh, monk, just nothing. Big Monk usually equips nothing. Thor's Hammer, it's probably the final upgrade for the White Mage. I don't think you'll get anything better for her. Uh, her. I think. The Black Wizard, or the yeah, the Black Mage. It's probably at its full upgrade as well. I don't think it's going to get anything better, equipment-wise. Okay, let's see. Okay. Wait, uh, Black Mage, let's see that flare attack. I got six uses of them. Yeah, yeah that's really strong. Got a sleeping bag from that. Just try to run from these things. They don't. I'm not gonna need experience. I think they're more just kind of in the way now. These monsters. Our friend left on a journey to the lost. I took the warp cube. I want to see our master. It's 
single thing, but we actually kind of uh, found that guy, uh, that so-called friend, who gave us the web cube. We got like a boss, blue dragon. Uh, there's, these, we fought more, like a couple of these. Yeah, there are. That's not going to be much of a threat. Use the work cube to travel beyond the sky. It will take you to the flying fortress.